Evolution Power Tools sent me their new 210mm sliding miter saw to try out. Let's have a look at what's inside. So open up the box, we have the Evolution saw blade. It allows you to cut all the different types of materials. Tungsten carbide tip blade. Your usual uh, light reading material. Tells you how to put your saw together, how to use it, how not to cut your fingers off. You need the sliding rail, the supports for the wood across the bed of the saw, your clamp. The clamp's been, looks like, redesigned just so you can hold down round tubulars, stock. And then the saw is pretty much assembled inside, so you only have to add on a few small bits. So there's not going to be much work involved in it. I think we'll do the standard finger snap assembly. The saw is very easy to assemble. Basically, you slide the two bars in through the housing here. Then you lock it in place with the knob. Then you get the main body of the saw up here. And you slide it onto the end of the bars until these two little lock pieces pop out and engage in the hole here. There's also one on the other side. So you just make sure you can see the hole of that little lock piece. And you know the top is on the saw properly. The best thing about this saw, in my opinion, is if you're an upcycler or someone who likes to use reclaimed wood, you don't have to worry about hidden nails or metal objects buried inside the timber. You can just cut straight through it. These are some four inch galvanized round wire nails and the saw cuts through them fairly easily. Cuts through it no problem. There's one job the missus has been on to me about for weeks. I made her a new TV cabinet and her DVD player doesn't fit. So she's been asking me to make it fit. So I think this saw could be the solution. I'd say maybe if I trim about a third of the length off it, it'll probably fit. So I'll try that for a start. Yeah, I think that did the job. She should be happy with that. The mine broke his leg the other day and he's fairly short. So I came up with a great idea. I think these saws would be perfect for hospital emergency departments. So when people come in with broken legs and they need a crutch that needs to be shortened for a person of a particular size, you can quickly and easily cut it with this saw. as there's obviously no other way to adjust it. My friend's four foot two, so this should be just perfect for him when I put it back together. If only they made adjustable crutches. There'll be no need for this sort of carry-on. 
I just finished accidentally cutting through the 4 inch galvanised nails fixing the crutch and the DVD player let's see how the blade performs cutting this piece of oak Okay, so there's a little bit of tear out. Nothing too major. There's no big chips or anything gone over. For what I do, that's perfect. I have its bigger brother here, or maybe I should say bigger sister, because I'm an equal opportunities employer. It's the Evolution Rage 3DB or double bevel miter saw. I've had it for about two and a half years and it's been a really good saw. I use it in pretty much every project and it's not let me down yet. It's the same blade in that as the day I got it as well. Overall, I like this saw. There's two things I'd change about it. I'd put a longer cable on it for a start. This one's fairly short and I'd beef up the screw here for doing your dado cuts. It still works, but it's a little bit flimsy. I think the saw will be perfect for people who are into DIY, upcycling and using reclaimed wood, because you don't have to worry about hitting nails or bits of metal. Personally, for the money you pay for either of these saws, I think you're getting a good deal, and I'd have no problem recommending them to anyone.